Yes, my sisters are with you all in the name of Allah Jesus, the Son of Living God. Right now we're going to talk about life in tree, life in tree. Why I came with life in tree. Um in life I talked about this yesterday. One day um I work as a CNA. So I always tell this to people. So, when you work as a CNA, you go with a lot of people around, you know, residents, we call them residents, the one we take care of, but also where you come from, honestly. So, a lot of things go happen, but if, um, as a person, so when you're Christian, it's totally different, but if you're not Christian, still, I don't know, because, um, that may be also totally different, that's what I could say, because when you're not in Christ, your life is different. You're not going to care about nothing. You're going to say, you're going to talk whatever you want to talk. You're going to say whatever you want to say. Because it happened to me. There are some people, Christian, still they say whatever they want to say. So it's God who is, I don't know, who is leading you. I don't know, I can't say it. But one thing what I have to tell you, if you're in Christ Jesus, you're going to have good life. Your tree which is in you is going to be beautiful. It's going to be, uh, yeah, take care, take care of. You're going to be um, fruitful. You're going to have joy. You're gonna, you, Even though you pass through something, but still, you're going to be, people are going to see you different, you know? You're going to have a life which is totally different from the person who is not Christian. Why? Because the Lord, the Holy Ghost is going to lead you and help you in many things. So, if you're a Christian, you're praying, still God help you a lot. Me, I always sometimes use my vacation time to spend more time with God. More time. With him why because he loves us but here i'm in america some some people work double shifts some people work um yeah some people work double shifts some people work once a shift but the thing is you may have time you may not have time some people they have school in the morning and they have work they have to work in the evening we have bills to pay here in america so you have to balance the things you have to know that even though you wake up earlier and do this and this um for the lord then after that the other time you go and get, do other things maybe at work or at school or anything like that but still that's not enough time for the lord if you're worshiping the lord and if you're in christ as a person as a christian those who are called to do something for the lord you have to put in more effort in him because he said draw me near and i will draw you near you have to do it more and more because you have spent time alone you have to with him not just like this but with him you have to do a lot of things as a christian so if you're not a christian people spend time in clubs you know to feed themselves with club things which are there or do things which are are uh, outside i'm not trying to say that maybe they don't control themselves some of them they are not but still they control themselves because i myself i used to remember what i used to do before i gave my life to christ sometimes i could um i could take long without going to the club but if i go still i could go why because nobody could stop me could say no don't go to the like this i had a chance though i used not i used not to go but if i wanted i could go frequently so i'm telling you this my sisters and brothers christians life is that's why they call them christians life those who are in christ it's totally different we have to be in him to have what we want to do what he wants us to do because only him he knows what we want Henry knows the way we, we're supposed to live this world. You know? Some people, they go to school, they study for something, they go they get their degrees, everything. But the thing is, they don't even work what they worked, they, they went to school for. Sometimes they did it, and that's not what you're supposed to be living in or doing this life. So I'm telling you this, my sisters and brothers, when you're in Christ, you're going to do what is exactly he called you to do. Exactly what he called you to do. That's what you're going to be doing. I myself, I wanted something before when I was younger. There's something I wanted, there's something I wanted, there's something I wanted to do. 
But I thank God when I grow, it did not change it when I gave my life to him. But you may, a lot of people give this morning. I did this, I did this, and I did this. But at the end of the day, when I gave my life to Christ, he told me to go back and do this and this and this. Why? Because he saw what you did. It was not, it has no life in it. Some people have marriage which has no life. Other people have a lot of things which are totally, how, uh, I don't know how I can explain it. They have no Christ in their marriages. Have Christ, put him in your life. You're going to see a lot of things coming straight through you. Because people may say, oh, I've been doing this, I've been doing this. Yes, I prayed. Don't give up. The moment you give up, like your breakthrough is about to be here. It's here. And then you give up. When you go back, sometimes you feel like you're really tired. And you cannot do it by yourself. But the moment you give up, that's, that's when uh, the enemy is going to maybe say, Oh, I've done this. Don't give the enemy the gap. That's what we are told. If you can't, call somebody to pray for you. My grandpa always pray for me. So when he can't, I always also put him, go to help him because I know we are to run to or to the pastors I go to. Or to myself. I love you, my sisters and brothers. God is with us all the time to help us to do a lot of things. So don't give up. To go on vacation. It's very good to have vacations in life. Because even though you you work many times. That money is not going to be enough for you. That money you're working is not going to marry you. The money, the money you're working is not going to give you internal life. Spend more time with God. You will have life. God bless you. See you next time. Bye.